Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. Well, here we'll see how to create this multi-select pop-up dialog box or alert dialog. You can select how many as many items as you want and then you can submit it and then you'll see that your new items are over here. Alaikum. So let's get started. Now, this is my homepage stateful class and inside this I have this scaffold and padding and right after this we have this uh, column. Now inside the column section, first we'll create an elevated button. So over here, this is our elevated button. And as you can see, we'll have a text over here. But at the same time, we need a function for this unpressed event. So we'll go ahead and declare a function. Then we'll see the error is gone. So this is the function. And at the top, we have declared this function. And even before that, we have declared a list for string. And we initialized with empty strings. And over here, we see that this is our function, the function body. And once again, we have this items over here in a list. Actually, in fact, these are the items that we want to be able to show on a button click first. So this items refers to a list of strings. And then we also have this show dialog. So on the button click, this would be invoked or called. And as this gets called, this would be shown as a dialog form and of course this one we want it to return string of widget strings over here as you can see over here so the result should be strings and now we are using show dialog and for now we just have text and then we also have this set state function we make sure that the strings they are set into this list the list that we have declared at the top. Now, this should return a list of items. And if it returns, we make sure that it is signed over here, just like this. Now, we'll go ahead and save our code. And we do see that over here, we have the select your favorite topics. Now, if we click on this over here, we do see that just high, which is this one. But what do we want to see? We want to see all this strings over here from this list. But currently it's just showing on the top of it. But we want to show it as a dialog over here, alert dialog, and then the user will be able to select them. Okay, so I'll go ahead and restart the app so that high is gone. Now, this is very important. Over here, we need to return things. So as we click on this, from here, actually, we want to return a list of alert dialogs like that. So for this reason, at the top, first, we'll create a new class. And we'll create a stateful class over here. So this would be a stateful class. And then we'll call it multi-select. Now, what it will do, so as we click on this and the show dialog that shows up actually on the click button, we want to send this items. On click, we want to send this items to this class. Now for this reason over here, we have to create a variable at the top. So here we have this items uh, list of strings and we pass it to the constructor that it gets initialized and this items once again should be sent from here so we'll call this class which is called multi-select so let's come down over here and then we'll select like this multi-select and then here we have main names parameters so items will pass items so this items refer to this one and this named parameter refers to this one over here now down here actually we want to create some fields and methods now the first field or variable that we created over here one second selected item which is string type and then we created another method now the method would take item and a bool and based on selection we'll add the selected item in this list of course if you remove we'll call the remove method from this list because we know that list has add and remove method. 
So on button click, either we going to choose it or deselect it based on that, these two conditions would get triggered. And because we'll see that a pop-up dialog shows up, so we want to cancel it if there is a cancel button. And then after selecting, you also want to submit. So that's why we have the submit button. And as we submit, we also want to cancel this pop-up dialog box that would show up. Okay, now after this, we can work on this section over here. So over here, we have this alert dialog. And as you can see over here, we have uh, a content as a single child scroll view and the list body. And after that, the list of items that's being passed on button click, remember, which is this one. And this one actually gets called from here, as you can see, all right? And then because as we pop up, we want to have this checkbox and we look through them and at the same time we set the value. And then we also check if one of the values has been clicked or not. Well, this is the time actually, we can go ahead and run our app and we'll see that there are some changes. So let's click on this and you see that we already have this checkbox with the items that we passed. Now let's click on this, it goes but uh, at the same time, you can also select them. If you click on this, they dis disappear, but they're not actually over here. They are supposed to be here, as you can see. Once you select something, they're supposed to be here, but they are not. So we'll see how to do that. But once again, now over here, you have to know that this uh, checkbox list style, this comes from this map. So this is a list and then we invoke the map function and then we go through it one by one and we render the items, actually the value and the text for it. And we also have a function attached to unchanged property so that we know which one is being selected or deselected. All right, so right now the problem is once we click on this and we want to save after selecting they don't get saved. So we need to work on that issue. So right here, after the single child scroll view, after content property, over here we are going to use another property which is called actions. Now actions takes a list of buttons that would be showed inside this alert dialog. And as you can see, we also call the cancel method or the submit method. So let's go ahead and run it. Okay, all right, now this time let's click on this. Let's select this and let's submit. Now after submitting, we didn't see anything, but actually the submission happened because we don't have a mechanism to show the selected items over here. Right now we can select and submit. Now the mechanism should be inside this. Over here, this, uh, inside this column, and right after this elevated button. So we want to show the selected items. The selected items over here, as you can see, we are using a wrap widget and it grabs everything from the selected items variable. And then once again, this is a list, it goes through it in a map. And so this, we use a chip widget to show the label and using the text. And of course, because we are using map function, eventually we call the to list method of this map, otherwise it won't work. So let's restart everything. And then we'll have select over here. Let's select this and let's submit. And we see that it's here. Let's select one more time. So of course this time it would be totally new items. So that's how it works. Now in general, real life, this would be coming from your API most probably. And that's all. Thank you so much.